Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm making another spread in my watercolor journal. It's almost square, uh, around 6 by 6 inches. Not exactly, um, but I don't know the exact measurements. The journal is from a German manufacturer, Kunst und Papier. And I really like this one for art journaling. I also use it for watercolor, but you can maybe see that the left page um, is kind a bit wobbly. I don't know if that's a word, but it's a pretty thin watercolor paper. It has cotton in it, I think about 25%, but as it's pretty thin, um, it buckles a lot and um, yeah, it's not perfect for watercolors, but it's nice to experiment and it's great for collages. I have a bunch of papers on my desk that I had laying around and that were already teared up a bit, so I want to use some of those. And I'm just working, as always, intuitively. I lay my papers on the page and see what I like and what I don't like. To adhere the papers, I'm using a glue stick. And um, of course, you can work with gel medium if you prefer that. But I like that I don't have any drying time with a glue stick. This paper I'm using here is from a super old math book I found at the flea market and I shared it already a bunch of times in my Instagram reels and I just made a short video here on YouTube last week where I'm making this uh, collage paper. Um, I used a stamp from our pencil marks number six and I stamped it not with stamping ink, I stamped it with acrylic paint. Um, I don't like the, the placement of this paper and I just remove it from the page and arrange it a little bit more to the right side. Because it, it was laid out straight in the middle of the page with the right corner and that does not look good, I feel. That's also a great thing about the glue stick. It's super easy to remove something in, let's say, in between 30 seconds or maybe a minute. Um, I think that depends on the paper. But that's great because if you make a wrong decision, you have some time to change it. I don't like that light paper here. I think the contrast is too high. And that doesn't look harmonic, so I'm grabbing that um, coral paper. That's also a jelly print. And I shared a reel on how I made this also over on my Instagram page. stick is running out so I have to grab a new one. With the Tombow glue stick it's always a bit difficult when it's new because it's um, it's almost like it has a drier skin on top that you need to get rid of before it starts working. So that's the only thing that is a bit annoying about this glue stick but the rest um, is great because it does not wrinkle your paper as some other glue sticks do and it's also um, it, it holds up very well. I never had something fallen off with this one.
Now I'm going in with some white heavy gesso to blend in the rest of the page. Um, and I'm using a dough scraper that is usually used in the kitchen to apply the gesso. I really like the texture you can get with it and it's also great because you don't have to clean a brush afterwards. You can just clean that silicon tool which goes much easier. I'm blending in the, the edges of the papers a little bit and I also place something here in the middle just um, a bit not too much and here you can see how nice the texture gets when you slightly go over the papers. My gesso is dry and I have searched for some pieces I want to use on the page. This one could be a nice main image. And I also grabbed this yellow greenish paper because it has similar colors to the main image. And I want to adhere some pieces of that to the background to make look everything a bit more cohesive. That print um, with the greenish texture it's also a jelly print and I shared this in one of my recent jelly printing videos. I want to say thank you for the lovely comments I sometimes get. Um, it's really nice. I read them all. I just do not have the time always to reply because sometimes I read them uh, when I pick up the kids from school and then there is no time to answer every comment, but I read every comment and I really love uh, when I see that you are enjoying the videos. And it's also helpful for my channel if you like the video, if you leave a comment and maybe share. So, um, my videos get seen a bit more. took me a while to figure out uh, where I want to place the elements um, uh, but I think that's the fun part of collaging and also it's kind of an easy way to make a spread because when you paint something you have it on your page and with collage you can just arrange it beforehand and then decide if it's right or not. I decided to pick three pieces of that greenish paper and I will now adhere it. And that's what I was talking about. If you have a new Tombow glue stick, it, it is not sticky on the top and you have to rub away that, that first layer on the glue stick. And that's what I just did on my scrap piece of paper. And then the glue stick works brilliant.
Before I'm gluing down the main image, I will do some stamping underneath to create more interest and texture. And I'm not going to use black ink. I'm going to use kind of a plum ink, um, the same color that I have already on the page. As always, I have linked all the stem sets that I've used for this spread underneath in the video description. Not sure if it's still underneath, is it? Sometimes it's really hard to find the description in the YouTube videos. Uh, my husband always comes and asks me where to find the video description because he never sees where it is. I will now do some mark making with the Neo Color Crayons and I'm picking colors that I have already on the page, um, such like the Chinese green and that apricot color maybe. I'm not sure, I pick some out and then I'm experimenting with them on the page. As always, um, I have a blog post on my website for this spread. Um, there you can have a look at the close-up images. And that's what I recommend maybe following my blog because there I usually post almost everything. Um, I also post on social media, maybe um, a few less photos or the photos will come a bit later in one post. but. Um, I'm sharing almost everything over there that I also share on my Instagram page. Um, I decided to keep my blog up to date because you never know what's going on with social media. Um, so I think this is kind of my, my studio just online. I used this turquoise neo color. It's I think it's it's a greenish bluish color and I did not like that. So I'm using a baby wipe to remove the neo color. That's great about the neo color too that they are water soluble and can be easily removed with something wet. And I would just come back in with that Chinese green and recreate that rainbow that I had before just without the darker green. It's a bit wet now that makes it maybe a bit difficult. Um, but I don't want to wait until it's dry again. I'm using a Posca pen here to make even more mark makings on my page. It's a bit difficult working over the wet rice paper. Um, you have to be careful when rice paper is wet, you can easily destroy it. I now uh, pick some acrylic ink to make splatters on my page. I feel that always, um, yeah, brings even another layer to the spread, which makes it uh, more dimensional. And it also just brings in some highlights if you're using white. And I really like the texture. And with the white ink, I go again over 
some of the edges of the collage papers to blend them in a bit more. And I will also use some black acrylic ink to create some splatters. I feel with this spread with black dots it makes it look more cohesive when I have also some black splatters and especially with this area on the top left that's pure white. I think there can be some black splatters to just fill it. I'm liking the Liquitex bottles much better than the ones from Schminke because they have a bigger opening and it's easier to go in with a brush. And also with the Schminke, um, always their, their um, that pipette thing sticks to the bottle and one of the pipettes has already fallen apart. I think I will now adhere that that main image and I'm going to stamp a sentiment for the page. I'm using one of the papers I've used on the page and I'm using stays on to stamp it. And I will then cut the words apart and adhere them on my page. I really like to do that. That's the reason why this stamp set has all words in one line and not arranged. Um, if you want to arrange them different you can cut apart the stamp and then arrange the words on your acrylic block. That does not, um, that, that's not a problem with the stamps. Or you can just um, cut out the words and then arrange them. Depending, it's always depending on what you need. If you don't want to glue something down, you have to cut the stamps into pieces and then arrange them before you stamp. And if you like to cut words out and adhere them, that's what I love to do. Um, then you can just do this after stamping. I will now adhere everything and you can see the final page on the photo here. And I hope you like the video and I hope we will see us next weekend. Have a wonderful rest of the day. Bye.